In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. <laughs> for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus, uh, but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long, he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? Hey, welcome back to Sleep Talker. Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold so, it while you So basically, I had power. been messing around a bit at the end of the last episode off camera and I came down to do uh, Ford's lab because I wanted to do an upgrade and then I immediately went to that cutscene you saw okay. just now. So, uh, I guess, yeah, we're just jumping straight into it. Think hate. Um... Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, that's <laughs> the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but... You have to promise me, only use your power of pyrokinesis only when it's very, very important. Or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> Wise words from Ford. Um, yeah. Basically, I came down here after speaking with Sasha 9, uh, instead of continuing with the main mission. Because I want to just do an upgrade, and... He was like, oh, sure, why don't we just cut into a cinematic? Thing is, I haven't actually seen a difference from getting um, Psy Power Ranks. I still need to buy a Psy Core at the camp store before I can use this machine to make Psy... Because, um, I guess it just said that the next... Upgrade comes at rank 20. Um, did I? I guess I did already use. I thought I had like 18 cards left. Uh, we have two. I do not remember uh, using them, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's see. Challenge markers. Okay. Yeah. So maybe I I guess I come here after getting enough levels, and this is where I actually do my upgrades. I'm not a hundred percent sure. said that's where they do observations but there's no one here at the moment I'm just curious though hmm this whole thing actually looks kind of freaky I don't know why, I, I have the feeling that this entire room is like brain shaped. Um, and I can't, I can't shake the feeling as to why I think that. Because in my mind, 
I'm looking at these um, sort of panels on the wall, and I'm like, why do they make me think of like vertebrae, uh, vertebrae? Like this is supposed to be a spine connected to the brain. Oh god, um, well maybe I'm just overthinking how they designed it. I wonder if we'll ever find out what the name of that assistant is. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm Heidi, and I thought, oh Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? I'm kind of curious. Um, we. Oh. It wasn't actually anything significant. I, I genuinely thought, I was like, oh, that's gonna be a cutscene. It's a significant character. It was just a random enemy. I guess it is the wild. Nine, right, because he's German. Man, one thing I kind of like about all of these old games is that for some reason it was an unwritten rule they all had a double jump mechanic and like playing games nowadays end up playing games like apex overwatch um you don't get double jumps i guess maybe depending on the game you play but yeah like double jumps are a thing that i see very rarely in games anymore at least the games i play let's do I this shoot more things. Okay, okay, enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Mm. Okay, time to face my big diving helmet spitting Man, I'm demons. thinking about that um, spirit. memory we found in Sasha Nine's head about his mom and his dad. Oh, there are two doors open now. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. See, I'm tempted to go back in and get that last piece of emotional baggage, which I utterly failed at. But, um, I'll do that off screen in my own time. Like, it's funny because I. I said, oh, I don't want to be wasting time and collecting stuff unnecessarily. Whoa. Um, and yet I can't help it. God, that thing's massive. Oh, that was it? <laughs> so, 
So I'm curious. Okay. Hey, where'd it go? Don't tell me I imagined that. Hmm. Oh, there we go. You are my own creation. I command you to stop. Dang. Does that ever work? Is... Like, is Raz hungry or something? Because there's a lot of random pieces of meat in his memory. Another thing, um, I guess just because I haven't played games like this in such a whoa, long time, like, just like it used to be such a fun thing to do in Ratchet and Clank, um, another game I love, but haven't got a chance to play it in a very long time, uh, is where you just like destroy the environment for currency. I remember seeing a post about it, um, like recently, where somebody was like making a joke of the fact that in Ratchet and Clank, it's basically the future, but for some reason, <laughs> um, the accepted currency of the world was nuts and bolts, and. It just made me think of like, oh, it is a bit strange, like, if you look at how things are right now, where like, mechanical has been taken over by like, digital stuff, like, so many more things are... No, I guess it still makes sense. Well, it doesn't matter. Do, 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 do. The other good thing is I've learned is just um whenever I think I've missed uh, emotional baggage, just listen out for the crying. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I, okay, I do not know what that was supposed to be. Little boy, I am sorry to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area, here. The area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. <laughs> you see, son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but you have the insanity of a manatee. I know. People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, doctor? How should I know? I'm a dentist. <laughs> but here's what I do know. If a tooth is bad, you pull it. But my teeth are fine. Yeah, no, bad Dogen. brain's got to come out, boy. It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind. But I don't want to. Sh -sh 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 now hold still. This will only hurt until your brains come flying out. Don't worry, Dogen. I'm coming up there to save you. What is wrong, Rasputin? No time to explain, Sasha. I gotta claim the spooky thorn tower. Can say the night. Hmm. Why is why is Dogen in my memory? Things I gotta do, go see Agent Krula. Ugh, there's no way to get me higher. You must use your levitation power. I don't know how to levitate. I had no idea you were at such a remedial level. Hey! Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. You'll need this oarsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge. Hmm. Where would... Um, let's go to Fort. Yes, no. First, I just want to see what new power I can get. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Telekinesis. Telekinesis. These With little... telekinesis, we can use our minds <clears throat> to grasp an object and then throw it. Go ahead, try it yourself. These little uh, cutscenes between things are quite cute, actually. Get a good uh... grip on it with your mind. Yes. Now, when you've chosen your destination, <laughs> good throw. Now, let's see if you can make it through the hoop. You sound like my dad. Hey, I've been thinking about that. Why'd that guy hate psychics so much? What do we ever do to him? Well, psychics killed his whole family. Cursed them and all their descendants to die in water. Whoa. Yeah. Talk about baggage. Tell me about it. And the <laughs> weird thing is, I'm pretty sure he's actually psychic himself. Ha! Huh. Cuckoo! Well, you can work on him when you get home. For now. Oops. Oh, great shot! Let's see you do that again. Thread the bingo! Okay, last one. Now, try to throw that baby right through the hoop. Now, let me show you something. 
pick that trash can up and aim your toss at the side of the caravan. Very nice. Now, set me down easy and go pick up something that won't blow up your head if you make it mad. <laughs> okay. Aim it at the side of the caravan. Kablooey! Throwing something against a wall is a little more destructive than tossing it around on the ground, isn't it? Oh no! Another one of my senses! Now, how'd that get in here? Looks like we're in luck. He doesn't see you yet. Why don't you smash him on the head with that handy trash can? Come on! Use telekinesis to pick up the trash can and throw it at that sensor. Use telekinesis to pick up the trash can. Bullseye! Looks like the trash took him out. <laughs> Next lesson, we'll work on your snappy one-liners. Mm. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? It's time to go to the lake. Yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Hmm. Crawler's got a bit on my radar now. Because he made a very weird, um... Very hey, weird robot system. Right, because you have a water phobia? <gasps> Me too. Huh? No. Well, yes. I just I mean, my family has this problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh, I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. <laughs> um, hey Raz, I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you? What? No! I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent! Bye! Oh, no. I think I can squeeze through. Dogen? Are you okay? I had the strangest machine-induced dream about you. TV? Well, first of all, Sasha Nine invited me down to his secret lab, and... TV? Oh, my God. He's completely brainless. The dream was true. Dogen, don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in... Like this crazy dream thorn bush straight jacket tower place. Aggie sack. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. I just need a little more advanced training to prepare. That is a terrifying concept. How the hell did he take his brain out? Yep. Has anyone seen Dogen Bull? Levitation clad. Um, well, there's another card there. On my way, bird. Hey, Seagull, what's up? Hello, children. Whoa. I hope you're all having a happy and safe summer day here at Whispering Rock. I just wanted to tell you that we are having a party out here on the floating dock, and I'd love for you all to come. It's levitation training, baby, and it's fun, fun, fun. Just grab a canoe and come join the party. Grab a canoe, okay. I mean, if something were to happen later, oh, you know, whatever. Shut up! You fish are gross! That's not even technically accurate because humans don't spawn! Ugh! Can we get back to that weird monster fish, please? 
Oh, so he's he's trying to figure out who the I think they mentioned in like the intro cinematic there's like this monster Check that's out, in the Admiral. lake. I'm an oarsman, first class. Hey, it looks like all those weeks in the canoe simulator really paid off. Uh, yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Well, let's get you afloat. Finest of the fleet. I'll take good care of her, sir. That lake isn't as peaceful or as harmless as she looks. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't take her out too far. Oh, no, you don't. Here's Daisy. What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh, man. Let me tell you about that thing. That thing is... None of your stinking business! Hey! <laughs> okay, so I can't get through the... just yet. Good one, Bobby. I feel like the strange thing about I this game, press A to paddle in your car so Um I feel like the weird thing about this game is Tell me everything. So I keep losing my track. Uh my uh I keep losing the train of thought. Man, I hope the Admiral didn't see that. Um, crazy thing about this game is that I feel like it doesn't exactly all happen. Like, the story is very here and there. Yes. And there you are, darling. Don't worry. I got like, in contact with your father, and one he's going thing. to be here tomorrow to pick you up. Whoa. My father? Oh! Go to go. The race is starting. Like if I miss one part of Lily. the story, I miss it all oh, very easily. Ass. Listen, I made you something. And things it's don't happen. Stupid, but they stole Dogen's brains. They things don't happen like. No, he's just like. <laughs> I had a nightmare um, with this mad scientist the right guy. Order. Said he was gonna take them out. And was it a creepy looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare. So it's not just me. But how? And right, she was meat? having nightmares. I don't know, but I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool. Yeah, it feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! But Raz is a fan of Psychic, psychic Tales 3, well, whatever... Uh, volume it is. What are they doing? Agent Vodello? I have been ordered to report here for levitation training. I've already done the coach's obstacle course, and Sasha showed me how to shoot. You know, I'd expect that sort of recklessness from Orso, but Sasha? Agent Nine said you were the most powerful levitator the Psychonauts had. Sasha said that? Really? I didn't know you noticed. Well, you know. I only work with the best teachers. Flirt! Okay, let's party. The other creepy thing about this game is how they all have doors to get into each other's minds. It freaks me out. Look who made the scene! Agent Vodello? Where are you? On TV, of course! Where I was always meant to be. I mean, look at my hair, darling. How can hair this fabulous not be on TV? <laughs> now, darling, the best way to learn levitation is to just try it. I'm going to give you a levitation learner's permit. It will only work while you're in my mind. After you finish my course, I'll give you the real thing, baby. First, you gotta show me you know how to use it. Now 
now bounce on up here and follow me, darling. There you go. Oh, I have to hold it. Now for this last one, you're really gonna have to fly. Once you get up in the air, try using your thoughts as a balloon to float. Just jump for those rings as high as you can and then do your side float. Don't be afraid, darling. I'll bounce and press left trigger while airborne to float over the gap. I didn't jump high enough. Outstanding! Okay, now, just between you and me, this end of the party is dead. Come find me on the other side of the party, and I'll give you that merit badge for real. Never keep a girl waiting long, young man. That is also another thing that is very reminiscent of these older, um, <laughs> these older types of games, having like, the weird flirty woman. There's a cobweb. Stay on the ball in here, Rasputin, if you want to get higher. And see if you can get all those rings spinning, Mr. DJ. Woohoo! You are the sugar in my bowl, darling. Now just follow the flowers, won't you? And such to weird, at all times. weird that things. The You're the sugar party. in my bowl. Hmm. So she has like a strong 70s theme, huh? Maybe I just need to take it slow. Oh, thank you. Darling, float over here, will you? These rings aren't spinning and they are ruining my party. Remember to use your side float. I'm not saying it won't ever let you down, but it will let you down nice and slow. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip that. Oh, is this what they were doing? Hey, will you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, baby! Hey, will you teach me how to dance? Come on, hey, dance, will baby! Will you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, baby! Hey, wanna dance? Yay! I already am! Come join hey, us! Will you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, hey, baby! Dance? Thanks, but no thanks, Raz. Hey, wanna dance? Hey, sure! We're all dancing! Hey, wanna dance? Um, no thanks, Raz. Thank you, sweetie. I feel so much better now. Come 
one. Let's take it a little higher now. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at the crowd. Things are starting to pick up. See that drop up above, darling? Jump into it and float and see what it takes you. Sure, but... Oh, okay, I guess, no. Okay, why is it at an angle? The music is a lot better in this area. Like, I was listening back to the other episodes and I was just like editing them. And I was like, oh, it's all the same music. Hmm. I guess our senses are a bit different. Don't down. Don't down. Oh, I see him. Kind of curious. And immediate fail. <laughs> everything hmm. you have to do it multiple times. I didn't go far enough. Okay. Hmm. Missed it. <laughs> I'm, I like. I'm. It's so sad how everyone's so mean to Dogen. Uh... Didn't I already make him? Oh, I guess not. Millie's Miller Miller's Adventures. Prince Hush Nine. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, that's cute. They had a they have like a fling. I don't see him here though. But the thing is, like, I was just thinking, this is exactly what I was talking about, where it's like, miss, it's so easy to miss out on the story, because I genuinely don't know where to go now. Like, is she somewhere here? Doesn't go any higher. Hey, wanna dance? Oh, hey, wanna dance? Why don't you go ask back Elvin? Off. She and loves to dance. dance. We'll go nuts. Hey, hey so you teach me how to dance. Hey, me. will you teach me how to dance? Come on, Watch dance, and learn, baby. Kid. Maybe I'm supposed to go down this way. What? Oh right, I forgot. It's a it's a giant hat, isn't it? Problems with water? Do you want to talk about it? Uh, it's a long story. Maybe later. Okay, I'm always here for you, darling. Let me just say that it's very normal for boys your age. <laughs> what? Okay. So, interest. Okay, that's okay. That's kind of cool. Oh, it has that weird, like, battery sound. So I guess it's like battery acid. I forgot that not all figments are weighed the same. Singapore. I am. <laughs> I'm being dumb. Let's speed Bobby Zilch, but I have no idea where he is.
There he is. Oh, man. I choked at the end. Okay. You did it! You are quick like greasy lightning! <laughs> I'm so proud of you, quick darling! Quick like greasy lightning! You're so fast, you'll be at my party in no time, eh? Man, she's weird. She's one of those people that adults always like. Okay. Be careful! Don't be too kind of strangers. You're going to have to do a lot of floating in this room, baby! Good thing you're so light on your feet! Oh, I missed two. Okay. Oh, you can see the fig, but the figments are okay. Oh, please tell me I'm here. The party was dying without you, darling. Here, I have a little party favor for you. Okay, so I think I've got three out of... Actually, no, so I have quite a few cute. of them. Rolling Rockstar. Don't be a stranger, darling. Thank you, Agent Vodello. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. Dogen's not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh. I'm afraid he's just like that. <laughs> Everyone's so mean to Dogen.
cool. It terrifies me just because of the sound it makes when that happens. <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay, I guess I still can't go there. it for psychic residue. <laughs> Some kind of fish has been tearing holes in our canoes. Now I'm trying to pick up its scent. Ah, don't worry now, baby. Nobody's ever gonna hurt you again. I promise. Weird men have loved weirder things. Yep. Well, this makes getting around a lot easier. Whoa! Uh, Elton, I hope you're not waiting for me. Oh, jeez, sorry. Carry on, sailor. I thought he had a thing with, um... I think for what's the name? Go do something? Oh, young love. It sickens me. Oh, that's an interesting... Hmm. It's like the, uh... Or maybe I just didn't see it right. It felt like, um... The transition to the next scene only happened when I... The transition to the next scene only happened when I... Um, went off the teleportation, the levitation ball, which can lead to some interesting glitches. I see. TV. Hacky sack. Yes, hacky sack. <laughs> this oh, guy no. wasn't much of a brainiac They're either way. Hi, Raz. Vernon, you're okay. Yeah, we're great. Me and my pals Kitty and Frankie are just hanging out telling stories and watching the boob tube. TV! Vernon, look at them. They're zombies. It did seem kind of weird when they let me mm -hmm. get this close to them. He's and always then they like didn't this. mind when I talked all through the show. Mm -hmm. Kitty even agreed to go on a date with me, more or less. We're gonna play hacky sack. Keep an eye on them, Vernon. I'm gonna go figure out what's causing this. Roger that, Raz. Did you, lady? Dogen! TV? Yeah, good idea. You rest here while I find your brains. Yup, it's true. It happened back when this place was still an Indian summer camp and burial ground. All right, though, Um, I think I'm gonna end the episode all process things. I'll look at that later. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, I really hoped we would have like another boss fight in store, like in the last episode, but it just turned out to be just the um, learning levitation. So hopefully next episode it'll be a boss fight, maybe a mini boss fight, hopefully at the very least. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens in any case. Uh, I'll see you guys around. Same time, same place. Bye.